In this video, I will be discussing about Lichkistra's algorithm. We will understand it using an example and later implement it in C++. It would be good to have a basic understanding of graph and its forms of representation before proceeding with this video. If you have some doubts on that, I will recommend some videos from a graph playlist which you can refer. Now let's get started with the algorithm. Lichkistra's algorithm is an algorithm for finding the shortest path between nodes in a graph. So it is also known as shortest path algorithm. So basically if you are given a graph and a source node and you have to find a minimum distance to reach a destination node, we use this algorithm. It has also been generalized now to find the shortest path from a source node to all other nodes of the graph and the resultant structure that we'll get is shortest path tree or SPT. So this is an important graph algorithm which has many real life applications. So it is widely used in cellular networks, GPS navigation systems and routing protocols. Now let's see what is the principle behind this algorithm. So this algorithm works on the principle that to reach a shortest possible path from the source to the destination it has to come from one of the shortest paths already discovered. So if you're given this graph and the source vertex is zero and we have to find the shortest distance to reach four. So let's say four is the destination. So how this algorithm works is it computes the shortest distance from zero to all the nodes of the graph. So it will compute the shortest distance to one to two to three, eight, seven, six and five. And it believes that if the distance of the path is the shortest, then the resultant node would also have the shortest distance. So if the distance from node 0 to 3 is shortest and distance from node 0 to 5 is also shortest, then we can just simply compare the distance from 3 to 4 and 5 to 4. So it relies on the shortest paths that have already been discovered to find the next shorter paths. So that is the basic principle on which this algorithm relies on. So if we are given this graph and the start node is 0, so we have to compute the shortest distance from node 0 to all other nodes. So let's see what the pseudocode of the algorithm says. So the data structure that we require for this algorithm are first is the SPT set. So SPT as I've told is the shortest path tree. So the shortest path tree is the structure that we'll get once we compute the shortest distance from the source node to all other nodes. So we have taken this set and have initialized it to empty. Then we have created a distance array and initialized all the elements of that array to max. So max is just a notation to donate that we have not yet found the distance for this particular node. So it has nine elements because nine are the total number of nodes of this graph. And the next step is we initialize the start distance to zero. So because we'll be computing the distance from the start node, so we are initializing its distance to zero. So now let's see what the algorithm says. We have a loop here while SPT set is not equal to graph size. So as we saw that the SPT set is initially empty, so we'll be iterating this loop until the SPT set is not equal to the graph size. So that means until the SPT set contains all the elements of the graph, so all the nine elements that we have here, we'll iterate in this loop. So in each iteration, we'll pick the minimum distance vertex from this distance array, which is not there in the SPT set. So we'll pick an unexplored node, which has a minimum distance. We'll add that node to the SPT set. And for each adjacent vertex of that node, we'll compute a distance. Let's see the algorithm step by step. So the first step was SPT set is not equal to graph size, so SPT set is empty. We pick the minimum distance vertex. So the minimum distance in this array is zero. We pick that element that has the least distance and we add it to the SPT set. So SPT set has now zero. So all the green elements are present in the SPT set. And for each adjacent vertex of V, so we pick the distance of that node from this distance array, so distance of U, plus the weight of the edge from u to v. So if this total is less than the distance v, so that means that 
this is the minimum distance so we update the distance v with distance u plus edge weight so let's say max is infinity so we initialize all the node distance to infinity so if you have to compute a distance of 1 from 0 the condition is if distance of 0 which is 0 plus edge weight from 0 to 1 which is 4 is less than distance of v so is infinity then we update distance of v to distance of 0 plus edge weight so we update distance of 1 to 4 and similarly for node 7 we have initialized the distance to infinity edge weight is 8 so we initialize this distance also to 8 so after this is done we again come to this while loop here we check that spt set is not equal to graph size so spt set has only one element till now which is 0 pick minimum distance vertex which is not in the spt set distance of node 1 has been recalculated to be 4 and distance of node 7 has been calculated as 8 so these two nodes 1 and 7 are not in the spt set because these are not green as you can see so the minimum distance if we pick from these two this will be of node 1 which is a distance 4 so it says pick the minimum distance vertex which is not in the spt set so we have computed two node distance which is 4 and 8 so minimum distance is 4 so we have picked up node 1 and we have added to the spt set so we marked it green so we have to compute the distances of the nodes that are not in the spt set and are neighbor of 1 so we have two nodes which are neighbor of 1 2 and 7 distance of 2 is infinity we can decalculate the distance of 2 so it will be 4 plus 8 so it will come as 12 and if we calculate for 7 4 plus 11 15 but the distance which we have already calculated is 8 8 is less than 15 so we will not go in this if loop so it will not be updated then we again come in this while loop so now we have to pick minimum distance vertex which is not in the spt set so we have computed distances of four nodes out of which two are already in the spt set which are 0 and 1 so the minimum distance from node 7 and from node 2 so the minimum distance we pick is node 8 and we compute the distances of its neighbors its neighbors are 6 and 8 if we compute the distance so 8 plus 7 for 8 it will be 15 for 6 it will be 9 so we have computed both of these included in the spt set so it is also green so in the next iteration we have to find out the node which is not in the spt set of these three nodes so we pick the node which has the minimum distance so 9 is the minimum distance so we pick node 6 and we calculate the neighboring distance from node 6 so the neighbors of node 6 are 5 and 8 but if we calculate for 8, it will be 9 plus 6. So 9 plus 6 is 15, but 15 is already assigned to 8. So it is not less than, so we will not update it. And the next neighbor that we have is node 5. So for node 5, the edge weight was 2. And for 6, the weight is 9. So we updated 9 plus 2, 11. So we update node 5. So let's see what is the next step. So now we have three nodes whose distance we have already computed and which are not there in the SPT set. So these nodes are 2, 8 and 5. So out of which node 5 has the minimum distance of 11. So we'll pick this node and compute the distances of its neighbors. So the neighbors of node 5 are 4, 3 and 2. If we pick node 2 and compute a distance so node 5 has a distance of 11 and the edge weight is 4 so distance will come as 15 but node 2 has already a distance of 12 so we will not update it node 3 has a distance of infinity so if we compute it from node 5 it will be 11 plus 14 25 and for node 4 it will come as 11 plus 10 21 so we'll update these distances and this is the graph that we'll get so we have computed the distances of node 3 and 4 and node 5 has been included in the SPT set.
so now out of all these four nodes the minimum distance node is 2 which has a distance of 12 so we pick this node and compute the distances of its neighbors so the neighbors of 2 are 3 and 8 so if we compute distance for 3 it will be so 12 plus 7 it will be 19 the distance which is already assigned to 3 is 25 so 19 is less than 25 so we go in this loop and update the distance of 3 so we'll update the distance of 3 to 19 and if we do it for node 8 so it distance will come as 12 plus 2 as 14 the distance which is already assigned to node 8 is 15 so 14 is also less than 15 so we'll update the distance of node 8 as 14 we have now three nodes which are not included in the SPT set and the minimum distance currently is for node 8 which is 15 so we pick node 8 but there is no adjacent neighbor to it that has not been included in the SPT set so we just include it in the SPT set then comes node 3 which is the minimum distance out of the two nodes left so no neighbor is left of node 3 which is not present in the SPT set so we include it also in the SPT set now last comes node 4 so we include it also in the SPT set so this is the shortest path tree that we get from this graph so if you have to compute distance let's say from node 0 to node 4 so we can simply say it is will be of 21 and the shortest path will be 0 to 7 7 to 6 6 to 5 and 5 to 4 so if we can compute it 8 9 11 11 plus 10 21 so it will come as 21 from node 0 we can reach all other nodes in the graph with the distances that we have assigned here so that is how we compute the distances from Dijkstra's algorithm we'll also see the code how we can implement it in C++ before we see the code let's see what are the pros and cons of this algorithm so we can see this is a very fast and simple algorithm so that is an advantage that we have here and if it comes to cons so to compute the distance to a node which is quite farther away we have to store the distances to all other nodes so we have to keep in memory all the nodes so that is an issue if the graph is very large we have to store all the graph in memory and second is that this algorithm works only if the weight of the edges is positive if the weight of the edges is negative then this algorithm fails so let's see an example why it fails for a negative edge let's say we have given this graph so the weight of the edges are 3 4 and minus 2 let's say a is the start vertex so we initialize the distance to 0 so if we go from a to b so we initialize the distance to 3 and from a to c we initialize the distance to 4 so this we include in the spt set and if we pick the next node that has the least distance that is b so we pick node b and we compute the distance of c so it will come as 1 so the problem here is that the shortest path that Dijkstra has calculated is from A to B it has calculated the distance as 3 and from A to C it has calculated the distance as 1. But if you see there is a shortest path from A to B if we go via C. If we go via this the distance for B will be 2. But we are assigned the distance as 3 it is because the distance for this node is never recalculated this works for positive edges but whenever there is a negative edge then this problem will come so we cannot use this algorithm whenever there is a edge present that has a negative weight in the graph so there are separate algorithms for that but Dijkstra's won't work in that case so now let's have a look at the code of the Dijkstra's algorithm so I've implemented it using C++ and all the code that I'm showing will be available in my GitHub repository. Link of that is available in the description. Now let's jump into the code. So to represent a graph, I've taken a vector of vectors where each element is a pair, pair of node and weight. And then I've created a function add edge in which I'm passing this graph and the source vertex, destination vertex and the weight. So this means that there is an edge from 0 to 1 with weight of 4. 
there's an edge from 0 to 7 with a weight of 8 from 1 to 2 with a weight of 8 so i'm just initializing this graph so in this u vector i'm pushing back a pair of v and weight because this is an undirected graph so similarly for v also i'm doing the same so i'm just representing the graph in form of adjacency list after this i have created a function distras in which i am passing the graph and this is the start vertex so in my case i have taken the start vertex as 0 so let's go into this function distra so in this function i have taken a distance array which is equal to size of the graph so graph has 9 vertices so it will contain 9 elements and i have initialized all of them with int max here i have taken a priority queue so each element of the priority queue is the pair of vertex and weight because at each iteration we have to pick an element which has the minimum distance so one option is we just iterate all the elements and pick the element that has the minimum distance but that will increase the complexity because that will be a linear search so instead what we can do is we can create a priority queue and we can insert the vertex and the weight as an element of the priority queue so this will automatically rearrange the elements in the queue and the front of the queue will always be the element which has the minimum distance so that is because we have added a comparator here which is the greater function it will rearrange the priority queue in such a manner that the first element of the priority queue will always be the minimum then i'm pushing the start into the priority queue so the vertex is start and the distance is zero so this i have pushed in the priority queue and similarly in the distance array i have marked it as zero until the priority queue is empty we'll iterate in this loop so we'll pick the top of the priority queue and we'll check what are the adjacent nodes of this vertex so for this vertex since the pair was inserted in the priority queues the first element will be the node and the second element will be the weight then we compute the distance of that node if we go through u and if the distance that we calculate now is less than the distance that was already assigned we reassign the distance and we push that element into the priority queue so like this way we will iterate in this loop until all the nodes are traversed or until the priority queue is empty and it will at the end it will give us the distance array which has distance to all the nodes of the graph so at the end what i've done is i've just created a for loop in which i am printing the distance of each of the nodes from the source vertex so let's see what will be the output of this algorithm so here i've listed down all the vertices from 0 to 8 and these are the distances from node 0 so from 0 to 0 distance is 0 and all the distances that we found out using the algorithm these are printed here so this is just one way of implementing the algorithm if you do not worry about the complexity what you can do is do a simple linear search at each step to find out which of the nodes has the minimum distance and use that node for the subsequent operations so it is just to do an optimization we have used a priority queue because it will always give us the minimum element without doing a linear search so i hope you guys have understood it the code will be available in the github repository which i have added in the description box so this was all about Dijkistra's algorithm if you like my content please show your support by giving a thumbs up sharing and subscribing to my channel and until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.